Welcome back gamers, King Koi here. We're back in Ark Survival Evolve, and we're still in the island map. Before we proceed, for those who are new to the channel, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I upload consistent gameplay videos here, mostly the games that I like, and hopefully those are the games that you like as well. If you like games or video games or watching other people play your favorite video games then this is the channel for you. Also please leave a like and comment down below what you think about today's video. So we're just gonna gather some meat here for our Pteranodon and hopefully that would be enough to feed him. Let's see. No. Let's put some meat there. And let's see the progress. He's not hungry yet. Now, I'm not planning to tame any of this parasaur, so any that I see here is kill on sight. Also, some of these Fiomias are a really good source of meat, and I really need a lot of meat today. <laughs> Not the kind that you're thinking about. This guy's taking a lot of hits. Yeah, it's level 90. Makes sense. It started raining now. Come on. There you go. Now, let's add some feeding thraw here. This is useful to feed dinos. All we have to do is just put the preferred meat or preferred food that the dino needs. We're gonna put meat here. And uh, I'm gonna put berries in this one. And as you might see, you can check how far the range of the feeding thraw is just make sure that your dinos are inside of that circle so that they can feed through this thraw he's almost done come on buddy i like his collar it's orange and he's the highest level pteranodon we have i'm gonna name him chili wings <laughs> i mean Let's see, whatever are you? 50? No. 65? No. 10? No. What is it? 95. Okay, that one we can tame. Oh, I forgot. I haven't. I haven't graded the pin yet. Sorry. Let's try this again. This time we're gonna use a stone pen. Don't think Ankylosaurus could uh, attack it. We'll see. It's not a guarantee, but we'll check. Is this you? Yeah, it's you. All right, add some ramps. Now, let's attract his highness. Come on. Ah, uh, the turn radius. Come on, can do this. Almost there. There you go. Good boy. Or girl. Haven't checked yet. Let's add some arrows on you. While I'm chucking down crank arrows and this ankylosaurus, please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, like if you are liking the video so far. <laughs> I would really appreciate it and any comment about the video would greatly help the channel as well. How many arrows do you take? There you go. Just make sure that you shoot him um, on his skin, not on the prickly back. Alright, just gonna feed him medjo berries for now because we don't have any kibbles nor any crops. And speaking of crops, I might need to start crafting one. Alright. 
It's 50. Let's take you out of this island. The reason I'm doing this so other dinos could spawn in with higher levels. That's why I'm killing everything that's not high level. Hey, Mr. Perry Sword, the walking meat. I'm gonna banish you to the Shadow Realm shortly. Oh, there's another Fiomia here. Good source of meat. I'm doing this too so I can level up. I can't craft the. Uh, how do you call this? Can't craft the There's another one. What I was trying to say is I can't craft the saddle for our Tyranodon, so we can't fly up yet. That's why I'm working on killing a lot of these guys so we can level up and gather some meat as well. This one's level 50. I don't need you. Gathering some meat as well so we can uh, start decomposing those meat so we can get some more narcotics ready. It's really taming a lot of dinos. Putting these meat in the thraw also will not prevent the meat from decomposing. Just put the... Oh! You poo it at me? How rude are you? I won't let that pass. There's another low level one here. This one's 85, but at this stage I want a level 100 or more. Bye bye. Another walking meat here. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I might need you later, but you're gonna respawn here anyway. Let's put the meat in the trough. There you go. Just turn off all the torches here as well. Now, I've built a 2x2 two two, uh, area here so we can start our greenhouse. Well, for now, we're gonna start with this planters. Then put the planters. Four could fit in this area. Let's put one there. Now, to, we need to irrigate it, so we're going to put the intake there, near the water source. I'm just going to put the vertical pipe there to go up. You'll know it's, if it's working if the pipe turned blue, uh, water is flowing in it. I changed my mind, let me just take that off. I'm going to put a... Not that way. Just remove this. Come on. I'm gonna put the intersection there, right that. So I like the look of it. A straight pipe could work as well, but I like the look of this. And then we're gonna add some of that there. Irrigation. Nice. As you see. It's all watered down. It's important that the planters have water in it. You can manually add water on it, but I don't want that manual labor. Let's add some compost bin here. So how it works is you put poop on it. Oh, her ankylosaurus is up. Let's go meet him. 
Let's take this off of you, my guy. Alright, let's ride you home. I'm gonna name you... Metallica. I think that's a fitting name. Because you gather metals for us. <laughs> anyway, let's get you home. And as you might see, I had enough levels to craft ourselves a saddle for our Pteranodon. And the air is our new place to play in. Ugh, it's too good to fly, man. Really like flying dinos. There's a lot of bad creatures below, so I like flying above. Now that we can fly, and I managed to uh, single-handedly <laughs> eradicate all the Pheomias on the island, and I can't wait that long to wait for another Pheomia to spawn back. So I'm gonna go around the island and see if we can find us uh, some Pheomia that's just relatively near, because we need our Pheomia to give us a bit of a edge on farming. I'm gonna explain that later. <laughs> For now we're gonna survey the nearest area. It's a fog here. Can't see we're in the hut that we started at. <laughs> okay, I went just a bit west of that area and I found this guy level 80 at this stage I'm gonna take whatever level I can take ah uh, we can grab it ugh it's too heavy just clear out the area here of some pest you like that Dillo not too not too tough now huh yeah First, we're gonna bola him. I know there's a spino in the background, but we're just gonna ignore him for now. Just to make sure he don't run away. I'm sure he's gonna sleep with a few arrows in his head. There you go. Three? Four arrows? Four arrows, okay. Now we're gonna feed him some medjo berries. Ah, it's gonna be a while. Let's try and see if we can do something about this Pino. Come here, you scary looking. Yeah. He can't attack the player directly, but our Pteranodon, Chili Wings, is taking a lot of damage from him. Let's see if we can bring him. Ah, he's distracted. Alright, we're just gonna keep an eye on that Spino. It's almost 85% or 80% done. Just keep an eye on him, because we can't take them. Just walked in. Oh! Well, he's up! I was just trying to get this Dacia. Ah, oh, this is annoying. Stop talking! Okay, he finally stopped talking. <laughs> now let's lead him onto our island. Almost there, Mr. Fiomia. Now, this is all fate in here. There's a lot of things that could eat you across here, but it is what it is, man. If you survive, then you are the best Fiomia ever. Let's just let him follow us across. He's moving fast for his, you know, size. Alright, let's see if he's still following us. He is. Oh, it's just a dolphin. Huh? Oh shit. Come on, Fiomia. There's a Megalodon. Oh, you made it! 
Uh, lucky gal. Let's go. You know, I have a best name for you. And we are here. And since you survive and outswim uh, Megalodon, I have the best name for you. A Dookie of Hazard. It's too lengthy, so we're gonna reduce that to Dookie Hazard. <laughs> it's like Duke of Hazard, you know. And yeah, he started demonstrating his usefulness here, which is, you know, dookie, poop. So how we get a lot of poop from him is, we'll just grab some few things first. So we're gonna use Lego to Stego to get us some berries. See, he gathers a lot of berries. It's quite a few from what I know. Oh, we're not using the right mode. We need the sharpened plate for this. You can switch it by pressing R3. There you go. That's a lot of berries. That's what we need. Nice. Just grab a few things here. We need mejo berries and some of this stem, the white berries. Now, just gonna put the bit. Medjo berries there, that's his food. And we're gonna force him to eat the white ones. And magical things happen when we do. <laughs> I know the sound of it. We're making him constipated so we can gather those poop, which we can put in this composter, and eventually it will make us some fertilizers. Thank you for watching today's part. We've tamed our friend Dookie Hazard, which survived a viciously attempted murder from a <laughs> Megalodon. And we've also tamed ourselves a new dino, Ankylosaurus. He's gonna help us gather a lot of metals because we're gonna need a lot of metals for the industrial stuff that we're gonna build later on the drain. And we've also Get, I mean, we've also tamed a new friend, a new flying friend, which is Chelly Powder. He's one of the highest level flying dinos that we currently own, and it's going to help us uh, travel around the map for now, because we're going to try and get ourselves one of the best mount that I want to tame. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's part, please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet and leave a like and comment down below what you think about the video small efforts like that goes a long way on helping our channel grow and i really appreciate you gamers for watching and until next time king Kui out you guys have a good one and take care